How's it going guys, Phil here, and in this video I'm going to show you how to install the Yale Sherlock with Wi-Fi module. We'll be replacing an existing deadbolt. First remove the two screws on the inside of the door frame for the latch. Then remove the screws holding on the deadbolt escutcheon. Separate and remove the two sides. Lastly, remove the deadbolt by sliding it out of the door. If you don't already have a deadbolt, or your face bore is only an inch and a half, you'll need to drill a 2 and one eighth diameter hole in your door at the height you want the deadbolt to be positioned. On the left, we have our old deadbolt, and on the right is the new one that came with the Yale Asherlock. You can see that they are different lengths, because there are two standard backset distances of 2 and 3 eighths and 2 and 3 quarter inches. To extend the new deadbolt from the shorter length to the longer one, press on this switch and pull the back portion out. Now the new deadbolt is the same length as the old one. Next, we're going to need the latch, strike plate, and four small wood screws. Let's remove the old strike plate first. Then, with the new strike plate, make sure the cupped sides of the holes are facing out. Then install it to your door frame. When installing the deadbolt, take note of the orientation, and ensure the up arrow is facing up when inserting it into the door. Secure the latch with the other two wood screws. To install the Sherlock escutcheon, first remove the black screw at the top of the unit above the logo. Remove the cap, which will reveal the battery bay. Now separate the lock from its mounting plate. We'll also need the two long bolts that will go through these holes. To complete the assembly, you'll also need the three black screws that'll attach these three points to the rear plate. With the latch in the unlocked position, Place the touch panel on the outside of the door, and feed the wire coming from the back through the hole under the deadbolt. Ensure the metal post goes horizontally through the hole in the center of the deadbolt. On the inside of the door, feed the cable through the L-shaped hole of the mounting plate, and align the wire in the notched cutout on the bottom right-hand side. The metal tab on the back of the plate should seat into a slot on the opposite side. Once aligned, thread and tighten the two long bolts on either side. On the back of the battery bay assembly, you'll see a connector slot in the middle of the PCB. The mark on the slot will line up with a mark on the cable connector, which only plugs in one way. The bar protruding from the middle of the deadbolt should be horizontal at this point and you'll need to make sure the slot on the back of the inside housing is also horizontal by turning the knob on the front to the vertical position. Then assemble the housing onto the back plate. Next, we'll use the three black screws to secure the housing to the back plate, one on each side and the third on the bottom. Before moving on, let's test the latch to make sure it turns smoothly. If you have the keyed version, test it again with the keys. And finally, test it with the strike plate to make sure the alignment is correct and that the latch doesn't catch anywhere. Before we load the batteries, we'll want to install the August control module, which plugs in with the logo side up just above the battery bay. Now, install the four AA batteries and replace the cover with the screw. Next, touch the panel with your hand to wake the touchscreen. Register master code. Press the gear key to continue. Enter a 4 to 8 digit PIN code. Press the gear key to continue. Registered. Touch the keypad for handing lock. Completed. Next, we'll activate the Wi-Fi module. You'll need to download and install either the August Home or Yale Access app to a mobile device and register an account. Then in the app menu, select Set Up New Device and either scan its QR code or manually enter the serial number. Since we've already installed the lock, we can skip to step two. Then enter a name for the lock and select or create a home location for it. Then tap continue and follow the on-screen steps to register the module, which we'll do next. 
Tap anywhere on the touchpad to wake the LCD, then enter menu mode by entering the master PIN code followed by the gear icon. Menu mode. Enter number. Press the gear key to continue. Press 7 followed by the gear icon to register the module. Wireless module setting mode. Exit the wireless network. Then press the red arrow at the top right corner twice to back out of the menus. Now let's install and calibrate the DoorSense sensor, which will let the app know whether or not the door is open or closed. There are two ways to install the DoorSense, surface mounting on the frame next to the door and flush mounting inside the frame of the door. If surface mounting, you can use the adhesive sticky pad and or the wood screws to mount the sensor. If flush mounting, you'll use the round cap and you'll have to remove the magnet from the surface mount housing. Then peel the tape off the adhesive and stick the magnet to the cap. Make sure the notches on the magnet interlock with the hooks on the cap. Flush mounting requires you to drill a 5 8 inch hole into your door frame. We'll be using this spade bit. To set the depth, hold the sensor up to the bit and mark the depth with a piece of tape. The positioning of the sensor needs to be 1.5 to 3.5 inches above the strike plate. This will be true for both surface mounting and flush mounting. We're going to place ours pretty much at the same level as the top of the lock housing. We'll drill the hole on the inside of the door frame to the depth of the tape. Then place the door sense sensor into the hole. Next we'll need to calibrate the door sensor. The first step is to lock the deadbolt, then tap next. Then unlock the deadbolt and tap next. Then open the door wide enough to walk through. Then hold the door slightly ajar. Finally, close the door fully. Following calibration, you'll test the functions to make sure the smart lock is working properly. Tap the green circle to lock it. Tap red to unlock. Opening the door changes the icon to a dotted circle. And closing it completes the test. Lastly, we'll set up the Wi-Fi bridge. Scan its QR code in the app or manually enter its serial number. Then plug in the device within 10 feet of the smart lock. Next, press and hold the button on the bridge until the LED starts blinking green. In the app, select your Wi-Fi network's name and enter its password. Now you should be able to access all the remote cloud functions of the smart lock, including connecting it to third-party services like Alexa, Airbnb, and IFT. This concludes the installation and setup for the Yale Assure Lock SL Connected by August and DoorSense sensor. For a complete overview and review of the features and functions of this kit, check out my review in the info bubble above. I hope you found this how-to setup guide useful. If you have any questions, you can ask me in the comments. I'll put a link to the products in the description below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and join me next time.